All right, guys. So I picked up this Ninja ice cream maker or Ninja creamy, whatever you want to call it. Low day and low cows, my calories have dropped. My last meal is literally 30 grams of oatmeal and 60 grams of whey isolate. So when you make a bowl of oatmeal with 30 grams, it really sucks. So I'm gonna change it up here today. We're gonna to make the Ninja protein ice cream. So I pre-made the mix, I'll show you guys. I froze it. I don't know how it's gonna turn out, but we'll see. And this is 60 grams of whey isolate. So we're gonna mix this into ice cream. And then my 30 grams of oats, I made into like, this is actually 20 grams of oats and one serving of um, PB2. And a little bit of this sugar-free syrup. And I made, it's almost like a peanut butter, or like I would say like granola, but it's not crunchy. It's gonna be like kind of soft. Anyways, we're gonna mix that into the ice cream. So this is gonna be like cookies and cream, salted caramel flavor with peanut butter, homemade oatmeal granola. Get that on camera. Uh, okay, see how this works. Uh, yeah. What do we do here? Gelato, light ice cream. Light, what's light ice cream? All right, let's just... Apparently it's done. Let's see what we got. I bet you there's gonna be some like ninja pros out there, like ninja creamy pros that are like, this guy's a dumbass. I'll, I'll perfect it, don't worry. Don't sleep on me yet. Okay, so that's what we got. Apparently when it when it's kind of like that, from the research I've done, you gotta re-spin it. So, oh shit. Cause it's like kind of icy. Re-spin. Let's see what we got. Oh, it's still kind of crumbly. I think you gotta add like some liquid to it. See, it's like, oh, it's like soft oh, though. It looks like Dippin' Dots. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It almost looks like protein powder again. I think you gotta add some liquid. Ooh. It's like our bread corner over there. It's pita. Bagels. My bread cording. Add a little bit of that. Add a little bit of that. All right. Third time's a charm. All right. I'm confident. I'm confident in this one. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. Damn. Yeah, you just needed more liquid. Damn. Look at that. 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 Oh, damn. Wow. Okay. That good? That's like a McFlurry. No. Is it? Wow. Try some. Like the texture on that? Mm, okay. But you, you, the only thing that's throwing me off is I put a little bit of that vegan. Vanilla, that's why it has that weird kind of gritty, gritty yeah, grittiness I to can it. Get that. A little but it's still, the flavor is really good and the texture. And like the texture is bang on. Okay, so now we gotta throw the mix-ins in there. Oh, the middle's like still like pretty like look at that solid. That's good. Gotta throw our mix-ins in there now. It's pretty good. I'm good. Yeah, I don't, I don't really mind the vanilla. So flavor-wise, what I did was I did no, you know what I did I did salted caramel and I did this vegan um, that one the vegan vanilla because it's like thicker. So I thought it was gonna be like thicker, more creamy, which it did, but it's kinda has like a gritty, a little bit of a grittiness to it. But damn, now you damn. Top All right. Now, so then you gotta create a hole. Create a hole. All right, look at that, down. And then, let me throw the toppings in there. And then 
Mm -hmm. Put it back in first. Mm -hmm. Put a little more syrup. <laughs> yeah, I think I hit a home run on the toppings too. I was like, what am I going to do with 30 grams of oatmeal? That's good. All right. Normally what I've done in past preps is like, if you take 30 grams of oatmeal and you put like a, two tablespoons of pumpkin, it like gives you more volume. Anyways, we'll try that another night. Um, all right. So now there's a mix in, mix in uh, feature. All right. Damn, look at that. Guys, check that out. All right, so look at this, look at this. Look at that creamy texture, look at that. I gave it a fall off, but still, like, should we try it? Oh my gosh. I don't know, I'm scared, <laughs> but, but, but. Damn. Damn. Is it good? Holy. Epic studio light, I didn't need to get this back in. That literally tastes like peanut butter cookie dough ice cream. Okay, so guys, <laughs> this is 60 grams of whey isolate, uh, 20 grams of oatmeal, one tablespoon of PB2, and some of this Maple Grove Farms sugar-free maple syrup. And to make the ice cream base, I used uh, 200 milliliters of the Fairlife fat-free milk, which has three grams of carbs and um, seven, no, like half a serving would be about eight, eight grams of protein. And then 200 mLs of the unsweetened cashew milk, one sweetener, throw the protein in there. Guys, this is literally like peanut butter cookie dough, salted caramel, vanilla ice cream. Damn. So definitely give it a like if you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one.